Hey guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we have a lot to cover guys just like always and oh my my market has turned itself around. Nvidia's earnings are passed through us. We will be taking a look at what Nvidia is doing today. I did cover a good amount of morning sentiment on Nvidia, Tesla, Apple and the broader market. Please check out that video as well if you just want to see how market just turned itself around. And even though in the morning also we were quite like selling off, but we did see some rebound in the afternoon and just ahead of this Jackson Hall meeting, or I should say the speech of uh, Jerome Powell, market is setting up for something like it just want to plummet off the face of the planet earth right now this is not looking good the way even the candle closed right now for the day on qqq guys this is not an individual stock that you are looking on my screen right now this is an index called qqq which is nasdaq 100 right you will see the similarity with spy as well now guys look at this candle this is not any ordinary candle this is a bearish engulfing candle now let's talk about many things let's let's take a little bit of a look at one of the articles as well and uh, we will then jump into technical an analysis i'll be taking a look at as i said qqq spy then in the tech stocks apple microsoft meta and netflix and in the evs tesla and semiconductors nvidia now for the other stocks guys i want to make sure that i make the videos productive and I cover as much as I can on these important stocks. And I will be covering moving forward the stocks in which I'm seeing a play. And they are something to keep an eye on because they will drive the market a lot. Now, if you are looking for something very specific for a particular stock, please feel free to leave a comment on my you know, YouTube channel. I'll get back to you. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. All right. With that, please hit the like and subscribe if I haven't already told you so. And all right, let's begin, guys. So, what are we looking at here? Um, let's. I want to bring up that article I was just reading. So, oops, here we go. Bar chart. Let it load. Here we go, guys. So, it pretty much says that stocks gave up a morning rally and turned lower as higher bond yields weighed on chip stocks and sparked long liquidation on the broader market ahead of Friday's speech by Fed Chair Powell. Now, also jobless claims unexpectedly declined. And all in all, it's kind of leading that the U.S. economy is re-accelerating and, you know, Fed target of 2%. Uh, you know capping the inflation at that is still the target and we might you know tomorrow is where all the you know uh this anticipation is falling on to so we'll see how tomorrow goes market now guys this is the macro sentiment but price action is the first news can become whatever it want to become when the price action has told us so so that's why i say price action and the technicals together with the macro but price action usually runs ahead of many other things so all right let's talk about it we are looking at qqq okay what are we seeing i just said that when we see this encapsulation or engulfing it's it's uh, on the downtrend it's a bearish engulfing candle or it usually occurs on the top of an uptrend now we have been forming lower highs lower lows on qqq for quite some time now from pretty much you know right over here so nothing has changed on that for us right um we being in the downtrend having seen this bearish engulfing today guys tomorrow i'm not uh hopeful that we might see any rebound i think any rebound will be rejected and you can also see we rejected at this 20 and 50 days moving average so you know it doesn't quite give us any confidence that we have any upside on qqq so now like regardless let's take a look at an hourly interval guys and um let's see what are we seeing so as we have been talking about we are you know in a downtrend i've when we broke this again 200 hours moving average like um guys 
it's pretty much like the game is still on the downside on QQQ. I do have my SQQQ positions, which is the inverse play of QQQ. Um, the thing is that, I mean, I added some yesterday when it was going up around 20 and 50 days moving average. I did not buy any more on SQQQ. Um, so yeah, it's an inverse play I'm trying to play. Now or to the downside with QQQ, right? So guys, the thing is that tomorrow, if you breaks this level of $357, which if I show you on the daily level, is gonna put, put us down to, uh, guys, 353, we should not, well, if you are a bull, you don't wanna see $353 break, because if that level breaks right over here, then we are heading down to, guys, 333. Nothing is stopping us to get to that level. And that is gonna be devastating for all the tech so stocks, because, you know, QQQ, um, it's pretty much what you know the the tech stocks you know are the derivative or QQQ is the derivative of you know tech stocks. So, guys, uh, definitely the way the candle is right now is just not looking good. Let's take a look at spy. So, spy guys, nothing changes on this. It's very similar to Nasdaq, and the thing is that also with spy you can see that just here we have this 20 and 50 days moving average we were seeing some relief rally to the upside and now we are seeing a rejection over there and we are going down guys this is as i was saying this is just a bounce in the downtrend we just confirmed that today and we are just pretty much making our way down so nothing is stopping us to break the level of 431 at least at the at the moment if this breaks, guys, then watch out 418. We are going there, and I would say we're going to be testing this 200 days moving average. So, yeah, like this is not the place to average as well. In, again, you do whatever you want to do with your money, but I just want to call out that to be careful. Oops, I jumped back to QQQ there. All right, but the chart looks the same, right? Does it, can you tell? I just switched back to SPY as well, right? So sorry guys, I just had a, a flip off the uh, one of the buttons and it put me back to QQQ there. All right, so guys, nothing changes. It's still in the downtrend on SPY as well. Let's start taking a look at um, Apple. And I wanna save Nvidia for the last so, so that you guys stick around till the end of the video, okay? Uh, please do so guys, it helps me out a lot. Please hit the like and subscribe as well if you are still with me. All right, with Apple, um, what are we seeing is that as I, you know, we, we were in the downtrend, we rejected the overhead 20 days moving average and Apple is continuing its downtrend. I still feel that we will be testing 200 days moving average again. Well, tomorrow I will not be trading. I mean, I might still take my Tesla bot trades. Um, more on that is you will find that not uh, the, the information on that in the description below, but I will try to avoid trading tomorrow um, if I look something maybe on the short side because tomorrow after tomorrow guys we'll have more certainty on the market coming next week so yeah just something you know to keep in mind again like if guys Apple breaks $176 the next level opens up is to $170 to the downside I do want to look at hourly interval on Apple oh boy all right this is what I was a little bit worried about so we broke and crashed below 200 hours moving average as well this red line guys so not good not good so if this level does not hold tomorrow 175 guys we will be testing again recent low around the level of 170 dollars so with apple again trade level to level but sentiment right now is everything is telling me on apple that it has broken right now any upside that it or bounce that it was having any pullback bounce to 50 days or sorry 50 hours or 200 hours moving average is still a potential for short side Again, but have your stop losses, nothing is guaranteed. So what you are seeing on my chart, guys, are the levels and the areas, right? You trade level to level and have your stop loss on the other side, the best way. And I, I'm giving you in this video the sentiment of what things are looking like and what levels you should be watching and what may happen. But have your stop losses, nothing is guaranteed in stock market. Microsoft, Microsoft, let's go to the daily level first. I wanna see how it is looking like doesn't look good on hourly level but let's take a look at daily level oh no no this is guys oh my this is looking so nasty right now like this is guys this is a classic bearish engulfing candle i mean everywhere in all the charts i'm looking at bearish engulfing candles like how can this be like across all these charts microsoft 
rallied with Nvidia and today it just gave it all up. Well, technically, it as I say, I was I mean still saying this was bounce and 50 days moving averages where the overhead resistance was and it just rejected that. It even like sure it went to one level down and that's how you would trade. It's even broke that and going to next level. Guys, again, I don't think anything is stopping it to also test 200 days moving average. But again, you do you, um, I'm going to do I am. Well, sure, if that fits somehow. All right, um, Meta. So Meta, guys, yeah, the same thing. Rejection, bearish engulfing candle, rejection at 50 days moving average. So that was... You know, it's pretty much everything confirms, you know, my trading plans, right? The bounce, the rejection, the continuation, and we have a catalyst to that side is that Jackson Hall meeting, right? So be cautious, all right? Um, but yeah, I mean, if you trade both sides, you, you still have opportunities to play, but make sure you have your stop losses, okay? And if again, guys, there's nothing wrong to be just bull and only trade for the long side, but please remember, Stock market just doesn't go up in the straight direction. If you are a bull, you it's good for you to see these corrections so that you can buy at a lower price. If you are a bull, right? And then, but you have to, you have to see, right? It's not that you buy once and then from there after, like market should only care about you and just never come back down to your position, right? That's the sentiment that how we do with. Even as a short trader, you would be like, Oh, I short it and market now needs to go down because market needs to work how I imagine the things, how I hope the things. And same with the long players. And when someone buys, they think, oh, now market should go always up from here on, never come back to that price because I said so. I bought at that price. That was, guys, the thing is market does not care about anyone. All right. We all follow the market, the price action, the levels, the trend. That's why... I tell everyone when people ask me what are the price targets or where do you think it will go I'm like I have no clue I have no crystal ball with me I I have no idea where if this is the price target or that is the price target that is all speculation I trade with the patterns the technicals stop losses and risk management that's how I trade okay meta gave you the sentiment on that as well let's take a look at hourly interval Guys, uh, below, well, classic rejection at 200 hours moving average. We are making our way down. We even broke the next level. The next level opens up is 275 dollars. The only way market can turn itself around tomorrow if, guys, here's also the thing. Market knows everything ahead, what's gonna happen, okay? There are connections, links, people know, there are whispers, talks, and you can see, you know, who knows? If something really comes out out of the ordinary then you can expect maybe tomorrow we might see some rebound but i doubt it all right guys we are looking at netflix now netflix guys yesterday it was 14 dollars up and today it is 20 dollars down so technically as we were talking it's in the downtrend it uh, we were talking about that if it keeps rejecting 50 days moving average there's nothing stopping us to come down to the level again of 413 it broke that as well it opened up to the doors to 398 Netflix trade level by level that's the best way to trade because it's it's in the downtrend but it's also showing us choppiness but it's in the downtrend so trade level to level guys that's your best bet um yeah and this is with the tech stocks guys for this video let's take a look at Tesla now and then we'll take a look at Nvidia Tesla guys this is the trade as well that my Tesla bot gave us six dollars profit today and I don't know why you don't want to join my Tesla bot. Go ahead and join my Tesla bot. All right. It's part of the gold membership. But again, guys, remember, the bot is not designed to make money all the time. You know, you will have losses as well. The way the bot works is maximize the profits, minimize the losses. So if that's something you think is for you, then it is for you. Otherwise, if you're coming in and thinking, oh, all the positions will be profitable by the bot, that's just not true. Okay. And again, I hold no financial responsibilities or the outcomes of the bot alerts. So that's a disclaimer. I'm not going to be, you know, uh, taking any role or responsibility of the bot section. What I can do for you is what I'm already doing for by providing the uh, Tesla uh, bot retrospective that I do every week so that you can see the performance of it. And I have done a lot of back testing. Guys, I use Tesla bot myself. To trade 
and I shared those crates with you as well on my channel, right? So, yeah, that's something I want to bring up as well. All right, talking about Tesla, guys. So, the thing with Tesla is, guys, and this is where I want to put macro in place. Um, yeah, we, I called out this bounce, and sorry, I will be taking that credit, guys, okay? So, I called out this short from 20 days moving average all the way down to $217. I myself took a move of $35 to $40 on it. So, guys, um, this, and I said, okay, 217, watch this level. You might get some bounce. We got that bounce. Now, what I want to see, sure, macro needs to support it, but what I want to see Tesla to come down again to $217 level, show us some bullish divergences. Even if it goes below it, I'm fine with that, but I want to see a bullish divergence. Right now, the, I don't see that divergence. And also, we have this overhead 20 days moving average resistance. I want it to come down and then slowly pop out above 20 days moving average. That's when I want to see the volume, the strength, the macro, how positive upside is then supported on Tesla. But if it breaks 200 days moving average to the downside, or if it keeps falling, then it keeps falling. It's not a long play. And that's why I'm not yet building or talking about swing long position, because for me, the way I trade, I don't see any confirmation for it. So I'm just going to start on the side. It's better to save the money than to lose the money by taking wrong positions, right? So that means you are already earning money by not taking wrong, wrong positions in the market, right? So that's my analogy, okay? Now, let's take a look at hourly interval. So what are we seeing here, guys? Um, Tesla in the downtrend has, this is, a, again, I know I may have not brought it up, but there's a classic theory. And maybe I should, um, I don't know, just let me know if, if you need me to recommend you a you know trade again textbook of the trading or something so that you know everything of you know what are the ways market may behave based on certain downtrend when we see bounce if that bounce is legit or not how long it will go but um, these are like some of the theories in the books guys and again textbooks are just textbooks the real experience can never be replaced by textbooks but if you want to just have a little bit of sense of that you know I can recommend a few things but just let me know if that's something you want Okay, so um, it is a classic double top. Guys, I think I gotta get a new computer. It's so slow, suddenly. And whenever I start recording, my, my computer goes slow. Um, so this is a double top in a classic downtrend on the bounce, right? Now we are heading down. Now guys, the thing is that $217, if we come down again here and if this breaks, $209 is where my eyes are. And if that's where I see a bounce and bullish divergences on daily level with macro definitely needs to support, that's when I'll start to get interested again on the long side with Tesla. Swing long, not long forever in my life, no. Um, but that's the thing. I like to trade both directions of the market. Now, if this breaks the level of 228, as I said, which it looks like it's just going to break tomorrow, we are looking at 270 to the downside, guys. All right, Tesla is not bullish at the moment. Okay, it's below 220 and 50 hours moving average everything. It is just a bounce in the downtrend. It got confirmed today. All right, guys, final stock for the video is NVIDIA. This is not looking good, guys. It just closed just pretty much, you know, 58 cents plus. I mean, it's down now in post market. Look at it, $470. Guys, okay, here's the thing. Again, okay, let me recap a little bit here. Now, the thing is, NVIDIA deserve all the credit. Like, NVIDIA as a company, guys, did phenomenal. Don't get me wrong. I mean, and they deserve this upside, the bounces that they have been having, guys. They have beat the revenue. They delivered on their guidance. They beat the guidance as well. They forecasted a higher guidance. And there is no doubt in my mind that they have, will have any trouble. They will very well do it because they have proven themselves already. So all that has been put aside, all the concerns and everything, they, they know their game. They're doing the, this great. The thing is that, the, the, the thing I'm thinking is that what is the right price for the stock to be at for that revenue, the EPS, and then the, uh, the macro, right? Um, so I covered a lot on NVIDIA, guys, in my previous videos as well. Check those videos out, too. I don't want to be, you know, always repeating myself the same thing in every video because it's not the best use of all of our time. Now, let's talk about technicals. Now, 
the thing is that guys what i'm feeling is that you remember how close so their forecast is really awesome like for next earnings as well and here's the thing guys this is what i'm thinking may happen until the next earnings we might see some people taking profits okay and remember what started happening just before the earnings price fell down to 404 dollars and then analyst starts coming out raising the price target well they knew what's coming right so you know they might be expecting a bigger bounce it just didn't happen but what i'm expecting is that closer to the next earnings there will be analysts again coming and that's when we will we might see prior to earnings some more rip but i this is just my hunch though don't get me wrong just my hunch company is doing great my hunch is that oh i pressed the button again guys sorry my hunch is that for the time being there might be profit taking but let's talk technicals i do want to see tomorrow like nvidia i'm not touching i want to see tomorrow what happens after this uh, powell speaks right so technically nvidia is still bullish though it's about 20 days 50 days moving average nothing changes in in that right the sentiment is where the little bit of mind boggliness is right i mean pretty much it gave up everything that it gained yesterday after earnings right so this shows that the sentiment is a bit maybe shifting or profit taking is happening is it i don't want nvidia to become story like tesla where kathy woods have been pumping that up to oh it's a bull case of seven thousand dollars right and the stock came down as well right this is the cycle of the stock so i don't want to make I don't want Nvidia to become like that, that analysts have $1,100. Now we have other versions of Kathy Woods, right? These and other analysts, but again, that's, that's the thing that Nvidia is doing great. And we just want to see where the stock price lands. Um, this thing is still bullish macro. If macro can keep supporting it, guys, this thing can keep going up. It has a stop. Even if it comes down to 20 days moving average, it might find support there guys nothing is stopping it from finding support at 20 days moving average the only problem comes if let, let's go to the hourly level now the only problem comes if it first of all breaks this level of 453 that's when my ear my ears will start popping and if it breaks 200 hours moving average which is 443 and 439 dollars level that's when it's like okay for the short term there might be some uh, downside coming but also remember i feel like there are many buyers sitting on the sidelines to wait for that price to the downside to buy into it because um every it ha nvidia has gotten everyone excited guys so that sentiment i don't think may die off and that's why i don't want to trade tomorrow nvidia i want to see how the market starts off the next week right so but that is what it is guys um you know nvidia is technically still bullish it's just doing some cool off with the market nvidia right now is in this channel let's see if this if it keeps holding this channel and again like yeah i mean nothing will ever be 100 percent perfect guys so yeah but the bottom line trend line is still intact so let's see if tomorrow what happens and this is all for this video guys i hope you found it helpful and valuable if you did please hit the like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video take care bye safe trade okay